Welcome to Publishing Smarter's video tutorial series on working with DITA using the 2017 release of Adobe FrameMaker. Our third tutorial shows you how to create a new topic using the default template, which is pre-populated with some initial DITA building blocks. To begin, create a new topic by clicking Topic in the Welcome screen. We'll be using our preferred workspace with the Element Catalog and Structure view showing. We've saved it as DITA Author, and if you want to see how to set it up, watch our first tutorial video. As we've done in the last few videos, select File, Save As. If required, create a Tutorial 03 folder and open it. Name the file FAQ with the default XML extension and click Save. If you are following along with your own copy of the software, your screen should look similar to what we have here. Once the file is saved, let's give our document a title. This topic is going to address frequently asked questions. Next, give the document a short description. Click in the short description placeholder text. Then, it's as easy as typing a short description to introduce the document. Try to avoid repeating the title word for word and use this to add value for your reader. While we are at it, let's also populate the author metadata. Click in the placeholder and type your name. We'll click in the paragraph and add some text. This time, we added a longer paragraph. If you are trying this on your own, just pause the video until you are done typing. Remember to save the file when you're done so you can come back to it in later tutorials. While it may not have been an extensive document, we just created a structurally valid topic. Click the annotation to move on to Tutorial 4, where you'll get more practice creating DITA concepts. All of these tutorials are also featured in our book, Adobe FrameMaker 2017, A Hands-On Guide to Creating DITA Content. For more information, or to order your own copy, visit the Publishing Smarter website.